still. There's a picture in your head instead of someone else's. You could hang it. The still of that smallness and definite and keen. An adult's hand, stern as a wristwatch, holding a child in time. Then it was not night, here on the porch, threatened by knotweed and all the resources of artificial light. An adult can hold a child like that and not mean cruelty, just holding on to someone small who's frightened, inclined to move suddenly. How good that feels. A heat in it. A handful of sugar thrown on the fire. The tricks we possess by simply having been here longer. And knotweed makes a good mother repetitive. The still of that smallness here on the porch. Don't we lose every child in the end? No, we don't. Today, I meant to be writing about the weather. I mean, I take a lot for granted, like there will always be a metaphor, but knotweed is the same every time. It's nothing like words. I mean to teach my son self-defense, outdoorsy skills, how to be a survivor. It occurs to me you might have hurt him, holding on so tight. Stilling a child who meant only to be moving. But everything we husband is always shedding. Everything has tret. We want to say some things are unnameable. Or some names are unspeakable. But we are well capable of words. I've been thinking about knotweed this weather. Knotweed just happens in my head. Knotweed, which spreads, makes the whole world similar, less tangled, with shoots that taste like rhubarb only better. Once I was a small person, and a big person held me still. I was frightened. I wanted to know what would happen. I was moving and I wanted to be held.